Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I'm going to go over my 32nd week of pregnancy. Today I'm 33 weeks pregnant. I like to go over these weeks exactly after they've happened. So you're probably, some of you are probably thinking, didn't you just film your 31st week? I did, but I filmed that one late. I'm filming this one on time. So <laughs> 32 weeks of pregnancy. Um, 32 weeks, I gained one pound. So my weight gains one pound, um, up 16 pounds total the entire pregnancy. Uh, movement this week has been um, pretty much exactly the same, where for me, the movement is not so much feeling the movement, but a lot more visual movement. And then if I put my hands on my belly, I feel that he's moving a lot. <laughs> so uh, it's just kind of crazy. Like I really don't feel the movement that much, especially during the day when I'm really active during the day. Um, I'm just like completely doing stuff the entire day, working and whatnot, and maybe I'll put my hands down and then I'll feel him a little bit, but I really don't feel him all that much. Um, when I went to one of my classes, which I mentioned last week, uh, which was a like, kind of like an all included class where it talked about like all kinds of delivery methods and Lamas and just like incorporated different um, birthing kind of aspects all into one. I talked to the, the instructor, the nurse, about it, and she said that she actually knew a girl that went to the hospital because uh, she wasn't feeling the baby move at all. And she was like me, where uh, the baby moves a lot, but uh, but she wasn't feeling it. I don't know how to describe that. So like when I went for my 3D ultrasound at 25 weeks, I really wasn't feeling him move that much. I just like, every once in a while. And then I'd feel like, at nighttime I'd feel him, and it was more like, looking at my belly and seeing it move um but when i went to the ultrasound the tech was like are you like how are you not feeling this because um he was moving like crazy so i don't know uh it's completely fine i know he's fine because if i just take a moment to like feel my belly and everything all is well but um just kind of crazy how some people don't feel the movement as much as other people um and the uh, instructor also said that it could like be actually more beneficial like it could give you an easier delivery um, she kind of thought like they kind of correlated but I don't know let's hope for an easy delivery <laughs> um, my symptoms this past week have been dehydration I've got my water <laughs> and acid reflux still um, my acid reflux comes mainly um, when I haven't eaten anything and I need to eat and then I eat something and it goes away or just randomly in the middle of the night I wake up to use the restroom and then I feel this burning in my throat so I still have been taking Zantac 75 uh, before I go to bed because that's the worst is waking up with the acid reflux in the throat and not being able to go back to sleep because it's so bad so I sleep really well at nighttime um, I know a lot of people during pregnancy have a hard time sleeping I sleep really well and um, I think it's because I take the Zantac and I probably only get up maybe one or two times in the middle of the night to use the restroom. Um, that's it. I still want to try some other people's remedies on, um, on like things to get rid of acid reflux. Uh, but I just haven't had the opportunity. I've been super busy. Um, cravings. Still have yet to have any cravings. Don't know if I believe in them because I just haven't had any. <laughs> um, let's talk about classes. Um, so this past week, I took we took a hospital tour. I really love the hospital I will be delivering at. Uh, it's really nice. Um, really nice big rooms. Um, they do have a nursery at the hospital, but they say that really the babies don't go in the nursery unless, um, unless they're sick or something. So heaven forbid the baby be sick, but um, I like that the baby will stay in the nursery or in the room. Um, with me. That's just something I really wanted was to have the baby in the room. Um, they told us that at the hospital they give like three bands, which I'm probably, I'm sure is pretty typical at a hospital, um, but they give you, the baby gets a band on pretty much right after the baby's born. One of my biggest things has always been like switched at birth, like in the hospital, like how do they keep all the babies, but right after the birth they put a little tag on the foot that will actually sound off all the alarms in the building, which is very reassuring if you even get too close to a door in our hospital. So um, that is pretty reassuring. 
Um, I get a band with, uh, you know, my name and information, and then somebody else gets a band, which will be my husband, obviously, but let's say you didn't have a husband and you wanted your mom or something, um, that would be the other person to get the um, other band. So three people have the, the band, my uh, of the baby, and then the mo mother, and then um, the other person that's kind of primarily there for the mother. Um, so we took the tour. I love the hospital. I'm really thrilled. The staff is amazing, so I'm really excited. Um, I took also, I mentioned it in last week's video, took the Baby Care Basics class, um, which was pretty common sense, but I think in the long run it'll give me a really good peace of mind, um, because when you have, <laughs> it's one thing to know it all, and to, or to think that you know everything, and then be handed a newborn baby and then just I can just see like a parent like first time parent like their mind going completely blank like you know what to do but you just like get completely overwhelmed so I'm I think that the class will give me a peace of mind just because I'm like I know how to do this you know what I mean like everything was common sense but I know what to do um, so I think it was good for peace of mind. I did take notes in the class, <laughs> which I will share some of the things that I thought were interesting that I thought were worth writing down. <laughs> um, one thing that the, the uh, instructor said in the class was that if the butt, uh, the ba if your baby is um, fussy, what, like most of the time you assume that the baby's either hungry, needs a diaper changed. Um, something along those lines, but also consider that the baby is being overly stimulated. Um, they were in the womb for nine months, and it could be that the baby just has too much light right now, so they need, like, you know, a little bit of light to come off, or maybe there's too much noise. Like, just, I thought that was really great advice, was that, um, your baby just could be being overly stimulated. Um, a couple things, uh, learned about the baby that... If I didn't know, um, I might have been a little freaked out. Um, one of that, one of which is, it's not uncommon for babies' feet and hands to be blue. Um, and a lot of times, when you see that the hands and feet are blue, you assume that the baby's cold, um, which isn't always the case. So it's best to feel the baby's stomach and um, feel that you know they're how they're like regulating temperature that way. Um, but it's not uncommon for the hands and feet to be blue. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, all babies peel. Didn't know that either. Like their skin like kind of sheds off, I guess like a snake. I don't know. But it's best to actually leave it alone. Um, a lot of mothers and stuff will want to put a little, little lotion on their babies. Um, but sometimes they said that that prevents it from like going through the whole peeling process. So it's best to a lot of times leave that alone. Um, I didn't know that. So I thought that was interesting. Um, Oh, I also learned that babies like will grow patches of hair um, that will fall off but like maybe they'll have like a big patch of hair on their like lower back um, or the nurse was talking about a baby being born and there was like hair all over the like they had dark black hair and then they had black thick hair on the ears and that'll come off but it's just like if you're a first-time parent and you didn't know about these things just kind of crazy. Uh, just like, like what, what do I do? <laughs> so there's like hair patches on the baby that um, will come off, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Didn't I knew this and I didn't know this? <laughs> um, the babies, you can't use uh, soap on babies for the first three months. Um, no soap for first three months, but then you can soak the hair with like a little bit of soap, but not the the body and everything, um, they just want you to use water and um, like paper towels basically. So I, you know, they sell like so many baby wipes and everything that you think, oh yeah, baby wipe, whatever, but they only want you to use water and paper towels. Um, nothing like crazy. On the head though, on the like, um, we, we actually in the class, they brought in a two week old baby to show us exactly how to bathe a baby. <laughs> Um, common sense again. Um, <laughs> but it was kind of interesting. I didn't know that you weren't supposed to use soap on the baby. Um, and then the way that the nurse taught us is that you kind of um, wipe down the baby with water and um, paper t or, and like a washcloth. Wipe down their whole body first. Then bundle them up. Then wash their hair. Um, 
because a baby loses all its heat through its head, so if they're bundled up and warm, um, it just seems better. Um, I don't know. So I thought that was kind of, like, interesting. Um, the baby that came in that was two weeks old was 10 pounds, and I looked at the baby and was thinking the entire time how small and teeny that was, how small the baby looked. But the, the nurse in charge of the class kept saying how chunky the baby was. And so I can't even imagine, like, I, I don't think that my husband and I will have, like, they said the baby was born at about nine pounds, but they were both pretty tall people. Um, and the baby looked pretty long and everything. Uh, but I can't, I don't think my husband and I will have a nine pound baby. So I can imagine, like, we'll probably have around a seven to eight pound baby. And um, I just can't imagine that's, like, really tiny. Um, even though it doesn't sound that tiny. I thought my dog was seven pounds, so I kept comparing to my dog. But he's actually five and a half pounds, so I don't know. <laughs> just was so small. Um, I learned in my class, if a newborn baby develops a rash without you changing anything in the routine, it could just be newborn rash, something called newborn rash, and to leave it alone. Obviously keep an eye on it, but that's what it could be. Um, let's see, I made some like little notes to myself, obviously. Um, jaundice occurs three to five days at the, when the baby is three to five days old. So you need to be aware at home, um, if, because you'll be home most likely three to five days old, you need to be aware, um, if the baby's turning like a yellow color. So it's not necessarily going to happen in the hospital. Kind of interesting. Um, wash baby, wash everything, bundle, then wash hair. Um, tummy time is very important. I already talked about that in last week's video. Um, but it was a great class to take, so I thought it would be worth mentioning. Um, now, I think that is basically, let's talk about, I've been starting to think about my hospital bag. So, um, I ended up buying makeup for my hospital bag. I know this isn't for everyone, because it's like, I talked about it on my other channel, The Current Custom, I bought a bunch of makeup. And I was, um, I was showing some of the products that I thought I'd probably take to the hospital with me because I want to just take, like, have that stuff set aside, packed in a bag, ready to go because I've been thinking about my hospital bag. Um, some people are like, oh, don't bring makeup, it's worthless, blah, blah, blah. Um, everybody's different. I, on my, on, for me, I would like to have just makeup there. I don't care if I wear it or not. Um, but... For pictures, I really would like to wear makeup. Um, I don't know how I'll be feeling at that point in time, but why not have it there? Uh, it's not like it's going to go to waste because I'll eventually use it, but people are like, oh, you won't wear makeup. Well, all of my friends that I can relate to um, the most have all brought makeup with them to the hospital and have all worn makeup in their hospital pictures. So, with the people that I can relate to, they all thought it was good, so I don't know. It just depends on the person, but um, I'm gonna show you the couple things that I have decided exactly will go in my bag. So I picked up the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. Um, this one's really nice. It's water resistant. Um, I plan on wearing makeup after the baby's born. <laughs> I'm sure like some people take a shower, like heaven forbid you take the time to take a shower. Um, but <laughs> uh, I, I plan on putting makeup on for um, pictures and stuff with my newborn baby. And I, I've had people say I wish I had makeup when I went to the hospital because um, because the baby's moving. <laughs> I wish I had uh, worn makeup in the because I look horrible in the pictures. So I don't know. Even the nurse that taught one of the classes, she said it's a good idea to bring concealer because you're all like red and blotchy afterwards. So if you want nice pictures, uh, even the nurse said it. So if don't let people make you feel bad about wanting to bring makeup to a hospital because I don't think most people would get that kind of attitude if they're just not making videos, so I don't know. But anyway, I bought, the, I bought the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I've actually been wearing this one um, since I bought it because I really like it. So I think I might have to actually buy another one to put in my hospital bag, but it's number 40 is my shade. Um, the other items that I decided to bring were a fresh sugar lip treatment. Um, this stuff is amazing. I've read a lot of people um, wish they brought chapstick to the hospital or chapstick was like a really big essential because your lips get all dried out through labor. Um, this is the best lip uh, product I've ever used without whenever my lips are irritated or I need something on them. So this is what I bought. 
um, drugstore alternative, Nivea Kiss with Moisture, but this is my favorite. Um, then I bought liquid liner. I love liquid liner, so why not? It makes me feel good. Um, this is the Lancome Art Liner in the color black. And then I also bought um, this mascara, which is the Giorgio Armani Waterproof Eyes to Kill Mascara. So I have that. Those are the cosmetic purchase uh, things that I've decided are going in my bag so far. Um, I also had, just got from Sephora today in the mail, a mini little um, dry shampoo. Um, I don't necessarily like w washing my hair every day, and I'm sure my hair is going to be really oily. And you're only in there, um, af in my hospital I asked, they said, with no complications, um, you're only in the hospital for 24 hours after the baby is born, depending on when you have the baby. Um, especially if you have it at nighttime, they're not going to release you at like, I don't know, like 5 o'clock at, well they might release you at 5 o'clock at night, but like 10 o'clock at night, they wouldn't release you, they'd probably release you the next day. Um, I'm bringing dry shampoo. I don't know. I also have these little Evian little like water facial sprays. I'm sure I'm going to get hot, um, so I thought these would be kind of nice to kind of if I need to mist off my face or anything while I'm in labor or something like that. Um, I thought that these couldn't be necessarily a bad thing to have. So those are things that I have going in my hospital bag. Um, I got this bra in the mail actually today, um, which is a nursing bra. And it is from the company Boob. Um, I heard about this company first from Anna from The Style Diet. She does, if you are unaware, she does really good videos. Um, she did a whole pregnancy series. Now that she has her baby, she does Mommy Mondays. So um, they're really, it's interesting. I actually, I asked her um, some if she could do a certain video and she did it last week sometime and she did like her essentials for like the baby. And it was a very nice and helpful video. Um, just. I liked it. So I got one of these nursing bras from a company that she wears these tank tops from, um, Boob. And I want to order some of the tank tops, but um, I've got to order them from their website. So I got that. Um, then those are basically the things that I have for my hospital bag. Um, now I'm going to show you things that I've bought for the baby this past week, or I've gotten for the baby this past week. Um, first of all, <laughs> I got some boogie wipes. I don't know, I just thought that these seemed pretty good. Um, I got these also from, um, Anna the Style Diet. Uh, her recommendation were water wipes. These seem great, especially if, um, you're not really supposed to use any kind of chemicals on the baby for the first three months. These are 99.9% water and then 0.1% fruit extract, which I believe I read was grapefruit. Um, and they say they're suitable for newborns. Um, they're actually made in Ireland where, um, where Anna lives. Um, okay, I thought they were already expired. Um, but if you're on the go or something and you're not, and you're not somewhere where you can actually have like a sink and like paper towels and whatnot, these seem pretty ideal. So I got these, um, and then I also had ordered this past week a just uh, a wipe case so I could put some of these in a wipe case instead of carrying this whole big thing around. I guess you could put them in a little plastic Ziploc bag too, which would be fine. So I got these. Um, one of the things that somebody, that people always say that I needed was gripe water. <laughs> so I bought gripe water. I'm like buying all these like just kind of random things. Um, I ordered a couple things from Aiden and Nice. Not really 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I got washcloths, a set of three, which seems like a good amount. And I got this set that's really cute. They're really big washcloths and they feel really nice. Um, and the set that I got is called Twinkle Washcloth 3 Pack. I feel like you can hear my, I'm really nasally right now and I think it's because my nose is swelling and I'm like, I have really small nostrils and I feel like my nose is like becoming like puffed up where I can't breathe. So um, I've got uh, got these. Um, and then I ordered two burpee bibs from them, which are bibs and burp cloths, because I've been told that you can never have enough burp cloths. So I ordered this Terry Velour one. They're both Terry Velour, 
And this one is Mod About Baby um, with like an orange trim. And this one has a blue and white stripe trim on it and it's called Prince Charming. So I got those. Then um, from one of my favorite, <laughs> from one of my favorite online stores, um, I had gotten like a little coupon from them because I ordered from them recently. And so I got like a $15 off coupon, um, which actually expired. So I would have told you the coupon code, but it expired already. So um, I got these, which are more burp cloths from them, but they're their organic fabric. And they are really nice feeling. I have some of the clothes from them, which are just basic things that I bought, like little just onesies and, um, yeah, just little onesies kind of things. And so I have those, and then I just got their plain burp cloths because someone else on here recommended that those things were, like, good things to have. Um, then I got some fun things from them. These little uh, bath toys, which <laughs> he won't need for a while, but... Like, I need to get those. Um, they're by a company called Elegant Baby, and it's called The Sea Party. And they have cute little animals in there. Definitely don't need most of this stuff right now. <laughs> I got this, which is from the company Skip Hop, and it's called the Moby Bath Spout Cover. Still don't won't need this for a while, but I have it. <laughs> and then I got, I told you all I'm obsessed with wooden toys. So I got this alligator from them as well, which says 12 months and up, which I think I'll just end up putting on like a shelf of some sort or storing it away. But it's just like a little pulling alligator. It's so cute. That's his little face. I love it. I love wooden toys. They're just adorable. Um, yeah. But that'll just end up on like a shelf, like a little decorative piece. And then the last things that I show, will show you this week are um, things I've received in the mail from subscribers, um, which are really nice. I got this card from Stacy, which is really cute card. And I just, just really nice. <laughs> really nice. Makes my day when I get like a card or a postcard in the mail. It just really makes my day. And then I got this really big, really nice gift from, I really want to... <laughs> I want to show you the card first, okay? <laughs> this card is really cute. Um, she even included little toys for my doggie, and he um, loves them. Uh, so her name is Wari. I think that's how you pronounce it. W-O-O-R-I-E. Wari. Um, but she wrote a bunch of stuff inside, which I love reading the messages inside. And uh, she also included this little, like, paper doll um, which is really cool it's from Korea I think and I really want to show my friend Angie this because um, she is my friend Angie's from Japan and she always talks about um, when she was in Japan like the paper dolls and stuff that she uh, got when she was growing up and I think she would really love to see like this little paper like, kind of is like a doll it's really cute so that was like more than enough was to send me the cards and everything and then on top of it she sent me a really nice gift um, from the store giggle that i told you all that i um ordered from um she sent me this really cute little uh onesie from them and their cotton is amazing it's organic cotton it's really really nice but this is so cute i, I love it i love it love it love it um and then she sent us these socks which is awesome because I actually there's another set that they sell on the site um, and it was the vintage set with the onesie and the uh, it only had like a couple pairs of socks with it this is a whole set of I think one two three four five pairs of socks or six pairs six pairs of socks but the other set I got only had three and these are really cute socks they're just adorable and they're the um, they call it vintage vintage blue I think vintage bundle boy um so these are super cute and i'm really thankful and then she said these which i my dog will get really upset if he hears them because they little rattles they're so cute <laughs> aren't they so cute i love them i love them so much and then i'll show you one of the toys she said um for the doggy because or for clyde because he Clyde bye <laughs> he already we already gave him one of the toys um but i haven't given him this one yet 
so cute. Um, these are from Petco, if you're wondering, because I think they're adorable, and it's always nice to find little cute little dog toys. Hey, pumpkin! And then, um, my body image, um, I'm at the point where I'm like, I just want to be done because I want to get back in shape. <laughs> I know that's bad. I still have, I have technically seven weeks, um, but I just want to get back in shape. <laughs> but I haven't gotten any stretch marks or anything yet. Um, I have heard that most people, if they do get stretch marks, get them like at the very end of pregnancy. But I've been using this for the past week, which is the Mamma Mio Tummy Rub Stretch Mark Oil, um, which I really like. So I've been happy with that. Um, and now I'm just going to show you my belly. <laughs> I'm like blotchy on my skin today. So um, this is a 24 inch chain. Sometimes I get blotchy when I'm irritated, but I also was filming this where the sun's setting. So I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. Um, I've got on then two of my cuff bracelets, just thin, uh, the gold ones, my wedding bands and stuff, um, a Chan Lu bracelet. The shirt is by Free People, but I'm gonna take it off to show you my belly. And that is it. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will see you all very soon with another video.